Okay guys, check it out. Here's what happened. In the last couple of tutorials, we just built this awesome program named Rectangle, pretty much. That's what I named it, at least. And say we built this uh, fabulous program, and it's running fine, it is good to go, and uh, selling it to our software company, making money, but suddenly, our boss comes in, and he's like, dude, you know that awesome program you wrote about rectangles that took you eight hours? Well, we actually need to make one about squares instead. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So, uh, you know, I start freaking out and uh, getting upset. And But then, you see, I remember what they told me in those anger management videos that my mom got me. And we start to breathe a little bit. And we start to realize, you know what? All a square is, is pretty much a special kind of rectangle. So instead of having to write a whole new class and having to write all these methods the same right over again plus a couple special ones for a square, wouldn't it be cool if we could just type a couple words and automatically inherit all of these methods? Yeah, you see where I'm going with this? Yeah, I think so. So what we need to do is we're going to cheat a little bit. Instead of manually typing all the methods for square we're just gonna copy all of them from the rectangle class and then add a couple of our own so what we need to do is on our source right click it and click add new file and uh, all your defaults look good right there objective C class click next and go ahead and create a new square class and uh, don't name it squash I'll get it eventually, trust me. And right there, also create square.h and finish that. So now we have two new classes, square h and square m. So go ahead and click on your source right here, then you can see all your files at once. That's what I like to do. And now, first thing we need to do, get rid of all these dumb comments because they know me. We don't need any comments. We make the comments around here. You got it? And also, we don't want to import coco.h. What we want to do is we want to import rectangle and we want to import that you want to import whatever you want to copy from pretty much so that's what we're going to do and now first of all get rid of these semicolons it gives us I should have just deleted everything but I didn't so our class interface is named square and instead of inheriting from NS object which rectangle inherited from we want to inherit straight from rectangle so therefore we're not only inheriting from NS object, we're inheriting from a rectangle as well. So what happens when we do this and inherit from rectangle? Well let me go ahead and click on uh let's see square rectangle H and see what it gave us. All we did is type that one little word inherit from rectangle and we already have a width, a height variable, we already have methods to figure out the area, perimeter and set width and height. So instead of coding all of this right here, all that crap, all we had to do is type this and it automatically gave us all those methods and variables for free. So that's alright, that's pretty cool, but you see a square is a tidbit different than a rectangle so we need to tweak it just a little bit and by tweak it I mean add just a couple methods of our own because you know it's a square not a rectangle can't you know just copy everything that'd be boring so let's go ahead and make one method void and set side because you see and let's go ahead and pass it one variable in s because we're just making this easier for us a square has four equal sides so unlike a rectangle which had two equal sides we only have to pass it one side and it can count for all four. You get what I'm saying? So we have S set side and that'll set all four sides. We couldn't do that with a rectangle before because the four sides weren't equal. And we also want to make a method that all it does is return side. What we just did pretty much, what we just created. So let's see, we got everything set right there. Now we can go over to square M. Actually, you might want to copy those for later for the headers. So now in square M, A, get rid of all this. Import square H, of course. Implementation square, 
because we're working in the square class. And we also have to put rectangle right here to let us know uh, we're inheriting from rectangle. So now go ahead and copy your method headers and you can go ahead and create, I mean begin creating the bodies. So for set side, how can we make this easier? Well we already are going to pass it in a side S and we'll say we'll make this 6 or something. Well we can either write a new method to calculate the side or don't forget that we already have this set width and height method right here. So what exactly are we going to do to set the side? Well all we need to do is call that method and now you're thinking alright Bucky I know how to call methods from other classes and other objects but I mean this is a method that's inside our own class so how can we use that method because don't forget n only rectangle has this class or excuse me this method set width and height but square inherited it so square has it too so it's its own method that we want to use so anytime you want to use your own method what you need to do is type and this is a keyword I'm not making this up self and what self means is this object that we're currently working on has a method that we want to use so what method is it it's set width and height and what we're gonna do is for the width we're gonna pass it s which is gonna be six and for the height we're gonna pass it s and why does you pa why do you pass it s twice because a square has four equal sides so this counts as the width and height again you couldn't do this with a rectangle because s could be different and most likely is but for a square it's always the same so that looks good right here and for inside all you have to do is return width I mean you could do return height I mean it's a square they're both the same um, either one it doesn't really matter so now that we have our implementation let's see uh, make sure I got everything imported that good to go we are ready to move on to Bucky class and the first thing I want to do is instead of important rectangle no we are important square right here look at that two H's pop up all the things those pop-ups are annoying but uh yeah I'm actually running out of time for this tutorial but in the next tutorial I'm gonna be building our object and we're gonna be using our new and improved square class instead of the rectangle class and I'm gonna be walking you guys through everything and one last time show you the beauty of inheritance so thank you guys for watching if you want any of uh, this source code too lazy to type it yourself go ahead click on the link at the bottom I'll put a link to my forum and all of it's gonna be there free for you guys so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to check out the forum and I'll see you next tutorial